I'm Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Nomadic Navigator one liter sling that I've been testing over the course of the last two weeks. Let's dive in and check out every little detail of this sling, and make sure to head over and check out our full review on the website over at packhacker.com, link down in the description below. Let's dive in. All right, so the main material on this sling, you have a tarpaulin up here at the top, which is rubbery and weather resistant. And then you have this junior ballistic nylon down here at the bottom. There are zoom zippers throughout this pack, which are pretty decent. They're not YKK, but zoom is pretty good as well. All right, so first let's start off with the strap system. It's pretty comfortable to wear. I mean, you got a nice kind of seat belt like strap. It's just a thin piece of kind of nylon webbing here, but it's got that soft seat belt feel, which is good. I like this buckle. It's really clicky. It's nice to operate. No frills, pretty good. Now, the one thing I'll say, you have these like plastic strap keepers, but they're pretty bulky. So oftentimes when I'm wearing a sling, I like to flip it from my back to my front. And when doing that, this can get caught up on your shirt or your jacket, and these things can kind of bunch up. So I don't really love that. But just something to note, if you do pick this up and you're gonna be flipping this thing from your back to your front often. There's a little bit of air channeling here, no mesh in the back, but there's you know just a bit of air channel, some nice foam padding here, which is you know totally fine. Not sure it's really necessary for a sling, but this is a part of their greater Navigator series, which includes bags as well. So I think it all follows that same design language here. And then there is a little loop on the side here that I've just got some hand sanitizer hanging down on as well. So it's nice to have that as a little accessory strap. You got the Nomadic logo here as well. Now, one of the things about this is when you have it on, it can kind of tilt forward depending on how it's packed. So it doesn't really stay that close to your body compared to other slings that we've tested. And I don't really know why. It must have to do with the anchoring and the angle here. Um, yeah, but it can be on the side of your body and it can tilt forward. We'll make sure to put a photo of that over on the full written review over on packhacker.com. So check out the link in the description below if you want to see that a little bit more up close. As far as other external components, really not a lot going on here. Just keeping it pretty simple overall. Now there is this reflective strip here too. So you're going to see that in a lot of the other Navigator series options as well, uh, products as well. And that you know, just adds a little bit of visibility if you're gonna be wearing it at night. Opening up the front pocket here, I've basically got a cord here on this thousand, uh, 10,000 AMH, MAH, a uh, little battery bank down here. What that does is that feeds through to the main compartment through this little pass through on the top. So if you wanna keep this front pocket, like, you know, you got your cord in there, it's a little more jumbled up. I've got two USB cables down here as well. And then I actually keep my keys in here too. Now there is a key compartment in the main pocket, which I'll show you in a second, but I like to just keep the keys in there just to keep it separate from my phone. And there's two like mesh divider pockets down here. I think they're a little bit low. I wish they were a tad bit higher, but there is some a lot of extra space here at the top if you wanna put things in, maybe like a pouch or something, but whatever you put up here on the top, kind of obstructs what's lower. So if you have taller items, it's gonna be good for that. Kind of wedge them in there. Um, but again, like it opens here. So you're gonna to have to kind of like shimmy them in there if they're taller and then get them down, which is con in contrast to the main compartment. You know, you got that full opening here. So any taller items you just shove down. These are weather resistant zoom zippers. One of the things that I wanna talk about with the zippers that I think is interesting, we haven't seen on a lot of other slings, is that there's a metal wire here on the zipper pull. And that's just gonna add like a little bit more uh, security. So you can either use a TSA approved lock to hook these together, or you can stitch them together like so. And they are locked together, which is nice for added security. They are pretty easy to take apart. They're pretty quick. It's not anything too crazy. But you know, someone would have to know how to do that um, just Otherwise, they're kind of stuck together. Now, a TSA-approved lock would be good here. Not really sure why you'd want to put one of those in the sling. 
Because again, the, the best thing to do is probably just wear this on your front and be aware of your surroundings if you're worried about pickpockets or things, things like that. DBoss Nomadic logo up here on the front, which is nice. Now this thing opens up, just wanna show you what I have going on inside. Small stasher bag with a snack. Topo Designs accessory pouch. Those are what's in these bigger mesh pockets. And these are taller, which is nice for bigger items. You can really stuff stuff down just from the top because this opens completely. And then I've just got my phone in here with that pass-through cable as well. So I'm gonna set that off to the side and then just show you here. Um, that's where the cable pass-through is coming in on the upper left corner. And then there's a little space for a pen here. So this is a really small pocket pen. I like that it just stuffs in there nicely. Now, I don't know, the, the liner material here I like. It's got this kind of heathered fabric so you can see what's going on. Not really sure on the durability of this. There is some reinforcement stitching around the sides. But, um, you know, I got my money on this stretchy mesh material compared to this liner material where you put that pen. So with repeated use, that might get a little chewed up. Time will tell. And then this is a really interesting key leash. So it's got a hypalon kind of rubbery feel to it. And it's actually a snap fastener. Um, I don't put my keys on this for two reasons. The first being that um, I've just got this key organizer with a small night eyes uh, lockable carabiner there. So it doesn't really fit. There's no loop to fit it into very easily. And then two, I like to keep my phone in this main area and I don't really want my keys next to that either. So, yep, there's that. You can see that pass through going on. I'm, I'm just gonna close this up now and show you really cool feature of this bag that is interesting. Again, it's, it's expandable. So there's this expandable zipper. Let me just close this up, make sure nothing falls out. Expandable zipper zips all the way on the bottom and you kind of get this opening wedge piece that adds some additional liter capacity to your bag. It's okay to carry it like this. So if you want to throw like a small water bottle in there or a jacket, that can totally work as well. So right now I've just got a field notes notebook. So if that was a passport, that's where I'd put it. I mean, it's behind like, you know, two layers of zippers and pretty well hidden. So anything in there, if you got any flatter items you want to put away in there and then zip them closed, it's kind of like a little hidden area. And I just want to show you, I have the Heli Hansen low key jacket. So this is kind of a little windbreaker. And one of the things that I liked is it just stuffs right in. So stuff, stuff, stuff. Taking me a little bit of time, but there you go. You have a whole shell in there that you can kind of pack away. I might be able to close this, but I'm, I'm just not going to. I think that's fine. You know, if you want to have like a light jacket, that's basically a windbreaker. So it is very small, very thin. If you want to have a light jacket that you're wearing, you know, you get hot, you can put it in here, which is really cool. And uh, like Code of Bell will extend their sling, expand their sling this way. Kind of like the Nomadic does it in the middle. I think that's really slick. And then even if you had a thicker jacket here, these both unzip, I mean, you can kind of hang it. This isn't a ton of fabric, so be careful. Don't hang anything too heavy. But even if you had like a carabiner, you wanted to clip here and hang something down, you could. Otherwise, with a jacket like this, you could keep it out like this. Got the hood side here, we're gonna go through. So maybe you have like an ultralight down jacket, you just wanna shove in there like that, and then it's kind of on you too. If you wanna take that off if you get warm, you can kinda of hang down really nicely, which is just a really great feature with this sling, and I think it's just well thought out in general. Um, now, the main thing here too is that this thing is really structured, and personally I did not like that. I like the structure to be set a little bit more by what I put inside of the sling. And at times this did feel bulky, even at one, one liter. So it does have some reinforcement to it. Your mileage may vary whether or not you'll like that, um, but it was just a little bit bulky for me at one liter. And I think they, 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 do, they do make a six liter, which I think that kind of stiffness and bulkiness works a little bit better on. So there you have it, the Nomadic Navigator one liter sling. Head over to packhacker.com for the full review, including the best buying options that help support our channel at no additional cost to you. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker. We'll see you in the next video.